Hello everyone, welcome to part 7 of one of my Dark Souls 2 squad of the first sim playthrough. And today we'll hopefully fin be finishing up Dragon Sanctum. So, first we'll go down, back towards the button that opens the bonfire door. Kill that one dude. And then Thomas should spawn a little past that. Fucked. Make sure I'm actually recording. I am. Thomas is pretty easy. Just don't try to backstab him since you're not able to. That's his, like, gimmick. I shouldn't have healed. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Thanks, bro. And now we have a kind of annoying area. Uh, see those big fucking dragon thingies? Dragon looking thingies? Yeah, they're kind of... They're not really super tough. They just have some weird ass hitboxes. And they hit really hard. Their butts are like armored. So don't go for vertical attacks, because half time they'll just hit the butts and they won't do any damage. But they're not too hard. And they can drop slabs too, although I, I don't know why you'd farm them from them. You, if, you want sl if you want to farm slabs, just farm them from the stone soldiers in Dreamlight Castle. They're your best bet. So I have to come to you. They have we what the fuck? Why did that not register as like an actual hit? That's dumb. Fucking lingering hitbox. And petrified they can drop those two petrified dragon bones. No point concerning your resources because we're coming up on a bonfire anyways. Before we fight this dude, I'm going to run over here and light this one up in case we die. This is the most irrelevant bonfire in the world. There's nothing really... You don't have to come back here unless you're far. I guess it's there if you really want to farm. Like petrified dragon bones or something. Why did you do them back to back, dude? You don't get too close. You don't want to fight these two of them at the same time. I doubt you'll be able to survive if you do that. Fuck it. Right, what, are, what is this one doing? Dark Souls 2 AI doesn't make any fucking sense. 
don't get bit by that. We should out instant kill you. I haven't been hit by it before, but I'd imagine it probably would instant kill you if there are really high damage. It did. It did. And it was just this last one. Petrified Dragon Bone. And we have a few items to pick up. I don't remember where they are, so we'll just have to spot them. So in case I miss anything, I apologize. Tried Root. There's something over there, but I think there's something over here as well. Yeah. Human Effigies. Make sure there's nothing all the way over here. No, okay, we went through here already. And we have a, girl, a great hero soul. As far as I'm aware, there's no way to fall in this water except that part. Don't go over there. Or this part, I guess. But in the main portion, you can't fall randomly, I don't think. This is used to open up, or to raise a pillar, I believe. Yeah, it will raise two pillars that will open up the pathway to the next area. Which also leads to the two bosses of the DLC. Then we have an elevator. While that comes up, we're gonna go grab the item at the end of this little hallway thing. This cliff side. Whatever. Drake Blood Greatsword. Drake Blood Greatsword. Greatsword wielded by the Drake Blood Knights led by the Honorable Sor Yo. Or Yor, whatever. The, the insignia chiseled upon its hilt symbolizes Dragon's Blood. To the Drake Blood Knights, fresh dragon blood was sacrosanct. They believed that by obtaining it, they could obtaining it that they, by obtaining it, I'm sorry, they could achieve a true understanding of life, transcending their own banal existence. It's a, it's, it's kind of an interesting move set. It's just for a great sword. It's like it's weirdly fancy. It's cool. I remember I liked it a lot in Dark Souls Three at least. I imagine it's, good. it's similar in Dark Souls 2. So you have to go up here. It'll lead to a shortcut and on to that bridge that we just raised. Right here. That leads up there. We'll send that up there, but we won't actually go up there. We'll probably have to go through this area a few times because there's a couple Titan Lizards, even if they all come from the same spot. You'll probably miss a few. Unless you get really lucky. I remember on my first go, I got two. But then it took like seven tries to get the other two. Although that was because I didn't understand how the fucking mechanism worked, like the moving door. I thought they just refused to come down for some reason. No, it's just, it can get misaligned if you. If you go through the full rotation once, and then it becomes a line for some fucking reason. Again, it's something stupid that literally no one asks for when it comes to fucking Dark Souls. I don't know. I don't know why the Dark Souls two developers insisted on changing everything for no fucking reason. Yeah, change for the sake of change isn't usually that good. There has to be a reason behind it. 
So we have a Drake Blood Knight here. They're not too bad. Yeah, it's just if you backstab them, apparently. They're kind of tanky, but really they're not that big of a threat. We go there after we deal with everything here. So, left here you can see a bow dude. It's just a trap. No point. But over here you can see... Yeah, you can see those fucking Titanite lizards, huh? So we gotta raise this big circle to the top and they'll all come flying out. So get ready. And I got really shitty luck that time, okay. So, let's reset this. And there's nothing here, okay. I guess maybe if you go through here, you might be able to get them to go that way. I don't know. Yeah, when it's like this, that means you have to go through a full rotation. For some fucking reason. Yeah, because they won't come out if it's like that. They won't come out if it's like that for like a second. You have to get it so it stays like that. It does. It's stupid. <gasps> the next one will come out, so I'll have to come back. Meantime, we will continue on ahead. This is a bonfire down here, if I remember correctly. And we use it to teleport up to the shortcut bonfire. I don't remember f this area fully. I only did this once. Errands, a bunch of them. Pretty sure there's a. No, maybe not. I'm pretty sure there's a hidden wall somewhere that I miss, but I don't know. Huh, I guess not. I guess one I did, but whatever. Yep, there it is, okay. That was right. So in there is a bonfire. Right here, we're gonna deal with this light. And... I'm gonna light this bonfire here and then I'm gonna continue down real quick. Should be able to get the rest of them easy enough. And then we'll spend the last little bit getting the fucking lizards. Wow, okay. Great AI. Why did that one do so much less damage? Fucking Dark Souls 2 random damage. That's the best example of it. It literally couldn't have been any different and yet it did different damage. Unless that dude had like wildly different stats. 
But if you have wildly different stats, why does he look literally the exact fucking same? That's bad game design, regardless of the way you look at it. Fucking dickheads. The stupid Drake Blood Knights stole all the shit in these chests. Now all we get is a fucking armor set. Drake Blood Armor. Black armor of the Drake Blood Knights who came from a long forgotten land. Or a land long forgotten. The Drake Blood Knights are a warship who worship the blood of dragons or led by Sir Yor. And in a siege of the Eternal Sanctum, but sunk into the Sanctum and the slumbering dragon awoke. The red cloth wrapped around their black armor represents the sacred blood of the dragon. Same for every armor piece, like normal. Now, we'll go up. Next to the bonfire. Teleport to the very first bonfire in this DLC. And repeatedly use that bonfire shortcut to get tiny lizards. Uh, is it this? Yeah. And it just passes a brief release of both of the bosses that you'll see. Which is Elena, which is like kind of like a, a fucking mage. And then there's the big dude. The guy I don't remember the dragon that you'll see. You might look that Elena kind of sucks, but the dragon looks kind of cool. Even if he looks like a little fight spammy. We'll see though, I haven't fought either of them before. And voila. Here we are. At no point, we have a fuck ton of SS flasks anyways. I probably should have got my original sword. No point conserving. So, I'm gonna try this strategy. I can only get one at a time, but at least I'm not like, I don't have like a high chance to miss. Like I did before. Never mind. What? Okay, that definitely fucking hit. Whatever, Dark Souls 2. Whatever you say, you fucking stupid ass game. That's just a stupid trap. What the fuck, boy? No point doing it. I'll just teleport back. After we get all the, um, lizards, we'll go back to the very start of the episodes, like the tower. And I'll check that locked door to see if we can open it. And if we can, we might try to explore that, although I think it's probably going to be a loot room. I don't know. Because I don't know where all the hell else I could go, considering the, the bosses of the DLC are, ju are in the area we were... No. In the area we were just in. And then after that... What, do, we have any, do we have any fucking materials? No. Okay, after that, we'll level up and upgrade our armor. We'll have all of our set plus five, which is the max for a special armor. I, mean, I probably don't have to record this, but I'd rather not accidentally forget and lose some materials. I'm probably not going to use them anyways, but... Might as well, right? You know what, you guys can skip past this to whenever I check the door and level up. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Okay. Well, I get. Okay, I guess game. Sure. Uh, don't leave the fucking rotating door on the top, because otherwise they'll just fucking run out. Apparently. I don't know why I didn't think that was gonna happen. Fucking annoying. And it was so fucking slow. Should be this one. Yes, yeah, that one. Sorry, I apologize for that. I just had to go grab my phone for when I level up. So I'm just trying to pull up my level up stats. They are a lot further down than I thought they were. No, I, I, I had to have taken a picture of them recently. Okay, here they are. Sorry about that. A fucking tracking jump attack, that's stupid. And... Fucking... Okay, two examples of horrible game design. How can you move while you're in midair? Like, without, ha like, preserve momentum. That's definitely not what was fucking happening there. And then backstabs randomly doing less damage than they did other times. Of course. There we go. Stupid idiots. So, okay. I'm going to teleport back. And then I'll go to... I'll warp to another bonfire. Check to see if that initial door is openable now. 
And if it isn't, I will go back, level up. And it's pretty obvious. It's my sad so far. Ooh, I almost tossed myself off right, right off the side. Sink the mace. Pretty sure we have one of them. Yeah. I guess we haven't got to this shortcut yet. And easy. Yes, can. What the fuck is in here? Yeah, I've not been in this area yet, so hopefully there's. Okay, apparently be careful whenever they die because they can poison you. This is another annoying thing to add to the fucking list. Bunch of chests. That mimics. Good. Dried root. Fucking amazing. So fucking hyped to get dried root. Hell yeah. Get more dried root. Hell yeah. Fucking love dried root. More. Yeah. What the fuck? Dried root. Lightning clutch ring. Wait, didn't we literally? No way. No, we got the st lightning stone plate ring. Okay. I was confused. I thought for a second we just got the exact same fucking ring in the same DLC, or the worst version later in the DLC. Lightning clutch ring. Ring depicting a hand grasping a stone increases lightning da or attack, but reduces physical defense. The origin of this ring is unknown, but its design suggests one of the darker deities. Effective use of this ring requires skill on the part of the on the part of its wearer. On aesthetics. I'll have to smoke that dried root later. No, YouTube, I, I, I don't do drugs, nor do I condone the use of them, excluding the medicinal ones. Like prescriptions and stuff. Those ones are important. And even then, those only in the recommended amounts. Where the fuck am I? Oh, fuck you. It way more damage than it should. I have no fucking idea where I am. It's a bonfire. Is that a boss? No, it's an invader. I think I'm gonna just grab this bonfire. What did he just do? And I can't heal, that's what he did. You're a little shithead, aren't you? Just 
It's one called Rock Shield. You, you don't use your shield awfully much. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. I'm just going to light this bonfire. And I will come back to this whenever Brian shows in his video. And then we need to load. I'm going to check what's up in this ladder. And then we'll go level up. It's probably running a little long, but whatever. Decent view, I guess. Okay, I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna like that. I'm gonna see what that does first before I potentially fucking ruin my save. Sanctum Shield. Sanctum Shield, a shield with a curious design, one of the treasures of the Sunken King. A mixture of mystical tree branch and sacred chime iron. Allows the shield to serve as a catalyst for miracles and sorceries. Most of the miracles and sorceries created in the Sanctum City were lost, but the quality of their armor and shield suggested or suggests highly advanced craftsmanship. Why do they make a shield to parry spells and miracles whenever spells were banned or sorceries were banned in Shulva? How? How How'd they fucking test it? They just go out there and. and against, like, criminals or whatever, and fucking try to parry. <laughs> or, no, because it's a catalyst. Not, I don't know why I thought it was a parry shield. It's a... I went the wrong way. It's a catalyst. So what the fuck was even the point? And even if it was a... It was made specifically to be a miracle catalyst, why do they add sorcery functionality? That doesn't make sense. Whatever. Who's in this cave anyways? I have no fucking idea. I just don't want to risk dying to it. So Majula, and then we're done. There's our fuck ton of souls. And our entire armor set is at plus five. Hell yeah, all of our equipment's max, excluding the rings. Which you can't really do anything about anyways. Cause I'm not fighting fucking Vendrick on plus one. Right, kill all the bonfires. Up. Boom. Okay, seems like that's. Well, actually, let's check our stats. Six twenty-four. That's pretty fucking good. Okay. All right. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I actually kind of had fun this time. But, <laughs> thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Have a nice day and stay safe.